there has never been a better time to buy a new camera. But if you're new to photography and you're just starting out, the range can be quite overwhelming and daunting. But don't worry, because I've done the research and the hard work for you. Welcome to the Photo Genius channel. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel where I share photography tips, tutorials, occasionally I do gear reviews, all designed to help you get more from your digital camera so you can take better photos. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I also run photography courses and workshops here in Brisbane. If you wanna find out more, check out the Photo Genius website. Now this week's video is very kindly sponsored by NordVPN. So what is the perfect beginner camera? Well, of course, this will depend on a number of factors. It's a given that you want the camera to take great photos, but I think it's important to choose a camera that has enough features that as you develop your photography skills, you can use those features to be more creative. Of course, you also need to consider the type of photography you wish to pursue, and budget is also gonna be a very important factor. Now, I've done a lot of researching and testing, and I'm so confident in my camera of choice that I actually went and purchased one myself. Now, this video is certainly not intended to be a review video, but what I do wanna do is share with you some of my experience with this camera over the past couple of weeks. I wanna share with you some of the images that I've taken, as well as the reasons why I think currently this is the best beginner camera you can buy. This is the Canon EOS R50. Now I've been taking photos for a number of years. I certainly wouldn't call myself a beginner, yet here I am adding a beginner's camera to the collection. Now, if you're wondering why, there's two main reasons. Number one, here on YouTube, I make photography tutorials and I like to feature beginner, entry level and mid-range cameras, not professional cameras that most people don't need or don't have access to. The second reason for purchasing this is, this camera along with a bunch of others is now available for people People to try in advance if they join my photography courses or workshops here in Brisbane. So when buying a new camera, there's a few things you need to consider carefully. Of course, budget is a good place to start. Now I set myself a budget of 1,000 US dollars, which here in Australia is around about $1,500. Now the Canon R50 with the 18 to 45 millimeter lens came well in budget at $800. This left some cash over to pick up an SD card, spare battery, and a small camera bag. Now, unlike some cameras like compact and bridge cameras, the Canon EOS R50 is a mirrorless interchangeable lens camera. So that means you can swap out and change lenses that suit your style of photography. And of course, Canon have a pretty extensive range available. But it's also really good to know that if you're upgrading from a Canon DSLR camera using an adapter, you can actually use your older lenses. Now, this is a great option. Now, I've placed an order for one of these adapters sadly it didn't arrive in time for this video. So let's start by showing you some images that I've taken so far with the R50 and the 18 to 45 millimeter kit lens. So all of these featured images have been taken in and around Brisbane City or locally on the Bayside. As you'll see, I've included all the camera settings and I've also made a point to include images that were shot on sunny days as well as overcast days. This image was taken close to sunset and I'm really pleased with this five second long exposure of the city at night. So I've been using the Canon R50 for the last couple of weeks. Today, another beautiful day in Brisbane. I'm walking around, traveling lights with just my camera, my phone in my pocket, and NordVPN, who are the sponsors of this week's video. So NordVPN is a virtual private network, allowing you safe access to the internet by encrypting your connection and hiding your IP address. Now what I love is that when I'm out and about like today, taking photos, I can pop in my favorite coffee shop, hop on their free Wi-Fi and do things like catch up on emails, update my website and socials without any concerns because I know NordVPN has got my back and is keeping me and my data safe. Features such as threat protection scan files for nasties that might infect my device and dark web monitoring actually notifies me if someone is up to no good and trying to use my password or credentials. 
NordVPN has over 5,000 secure servers around the world that I can easily connect to using the app. Now this is great for me because it means I can select a server based in the UK and catch up on all the news, sports and watch TV content that is not available in Australia. Now I've been using NordVPN for some time now and if you want to try it for yourself you can it's absolutely risk free using Nord's 30 day money back guarantee plus there's a very special offer if you use the link down below that's nordvpn.com forward slash photo genius and I want to say a big thank you to NordVPN for supporting my channel and sponsoring this week's video. Now one of the first things you notice when using the R50 is how compact and light this camera is. I think this is the ideal travel companion. When you compare it to a DSLR camera like the very popular T7, you realise just how small it is. Now whether you want to do travel, wildlife, portrait or maybe sports photography, having a good autofocus system is a must. The autofocus system is effectively inherited from the EOS R3, has 651 focus points and features subject recognition, eye and face detection and in testing did a really great job tracking animals, people or vehicles. Now if you like taking pictures of moving subjects, the R50 can shoot at 12 or 15 frames per second depending on which shutter mode you select. Now I think this is pretty impressive, however if you're shooting RAW files this will slow down quite quickly as the camera begins to buffer. Top tip is to consider buying a faster and better quality SD card. Now I really like the button layout on the back of the camera which will feel instantly familiar if you're coming from a Canon DSLR or similar camera. Now considering this is a camera aimed at beginners, I'm particularly impressed by how customizable this camera is. For example on the back is a button marked AF-MF. Pressing this allows you to switch between autofocus and manual focus, but I rarely use manual focus, so using the custom settings, I set the button to allow me to select between one shot autofocus, which is great for static subjects, and AI servo for focusing on moving subjects. For me, this is a better use of the button. Likewise, the delete button allows us to delete images, but when we're just taking photos, actually serves no purpose. So in the custom settings, I've set the delete button so that when I'm taking pictures, I can use it to control my exposure compensation. Now, if I'm shooting in the manual mode, this is another handy way to switch between controlling shutter speed and aperture. Now I get asked many photography related questions on my courses and workshops here on YouTube and social media and the number one question is what is a great camera to buy if I'm starting my photography journey and that's why I wanted to make this video. As I said at the beginning this wasn't intended to be a review, more of an overview if you like. Um, I wanted to explain why I bought this camera and show you some of the key features because again I think this is a great beginner camera. Now before before I wrap things up, let me show you some more images that I've captured with the Canon R50. This long exposure image was taken using a shutter speed of 20 seconds and the kit lens. But just as I was wrapping up this video, a package arrived containing the EF to EOS R adapter, so I've included some bonus images. This taken with the adapter and a 50mm lens and the final two images again using the adapter and this time a 75 to 300mm telephoto lens. This image of the moon I was really happy with. Now I'd like to say a very big thank you to NordVPN for kindly supporting this channel and sponsoring this week's video. If you want to find out more about their very special deal, use the link down below. If you've enjoyed this week's video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really does help. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos from me. And that's about it. Other than to say, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya.